Okay, so I thought I'd pop on and do a day to night look for the summer. Um, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette because I think I've only used it a couple of times in tutorials. Um, and it's the perfect palette for day to night looks because it's got everything, it even comes with the brush. So, yeah, if you want to see a day to night look using this palette, then keep watching. So, I'm going to start with the Urban Decay um, Eden Primer Potion. This is like the matte one, it's kind of a Kind of a beigey shade, quite like foxy eyeshadow. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on of the eyelid. And this is perfect, I think, for the daytime, especially you know if you have some early mornings, uh, because it cancels out any redness on the lids. So you can see the difference just there. So first of all, obviously, we're going to start with the day look. I will use the brush that comes in the palette because if you do have this palette, it's easy to kind of throw in your makeup bag, um, and you know you've got the brush already with you. So. I'm going to start with kind of carving out my crease just lightly for this daytime look. So I'm actually going to use this kind of peachy shade here. This is a matte one. And I'm going to put that in my crease with the fluffy end, the fluffy white end of the brush that comes in the palette. Just lightly. Just like that, just to give a little bit of kind of definition to the eye. I'm now going to take the flat end and I'm going to use this beautiful shade um, here, which is a shimmery shade. And I'm going to put that all over the lid with that flat, flat brush. I'm going to take the other side, the black side of the flat brush, and I'm going to use the uh, pale shade that's just above the one we just used. This is the matte one. I'm going to use that as my highlight. Just pop that up there. I'm going to take one of the darker matte shades. I'm going to use the one next to the black, this kind of concrete shade. And I'm going to use that just lightly to define my eyes like a liner but um, less harsh. So the brush I'm going to use to do that, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to use this brush because it's the one that comes in the palette. So I'm just going to use the tip of this brush here and I'm going to push that colour along the, um, along the upper lash line. Just like so. So it's making the lashes look a little bit darker already. Just like that. So there's definition there, but it's not anything too much. Then I'm going to take the uh, same brush, dust it off, and I'm going to put the colour that we used on the lid, the shimmery colour, I'm going to just put a little bit of that underneath the lash line just to tie it all in. Just like so. Then I'm going to do my um, lashes, I'm going to curl my lashes and put on my mascara using the Amite eyelash curler. And the mascara I'm going to use is the Cosmetics Alcar Divine Lash. I really like this. Gorgeous. You build it up and build it up so it's nice for the daytime if you just want it just lightly. Just a light coating of it. If you're really into your big lashes like I am, then it's perfect for that as well. Okay, so that is the daytime look using the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. With the mascara on, everything looks better with mascara. Just a little bit of definition around the eyes, a little bit of definition in the crease, nothing too out there. And now I'm going to show you how to turn it into a nighttime look using the same palette. I'm now going to take this um, slightly darker shade. This is the one we use for the daytime look. This is the darker shade. I'm going to take this on the fluffy end of the brush and put this in my crease over the top of that peachy shade we used earlier, just to give it a little bit more depth. See? I'm also going to blend it in slightly onto the lid just at the outer corner. So that's darkened and deepened the crease a little bit. I'm now going to take this shade here, which is beautiful, as you can see, really shimmery. It's kind of like a nice taupe. And I'm going to apply that with my finger. I'm not going to use the brush because I think it's, um, especially with the Smashbox shimmery eyeshadows in this palette, they're a little bit kind of crispy. So um, they kind of get lost if you use a brush with them. So I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to apply that at the outer portion just here. Just like so. Beautiful shade. 
And I'm just going to pop that just to the outer portion of the eye. Just like so. That's at the outer portion. I really like that shade. It adds so much dimension, it's gorgeous. I'm now going to take another shimmery shade. Um, I'm going to use my finger to apply it. I'm going to take this kind of, um, this one here next to it. Once again, it's a much deeper gold than the one we put on the lid. And I'm going to apply that just in the center, just to give it kind of a little bit of extra sparkle. It looks like that's beautiful. Like so. Just catches the light beautifully. And it kind of uses the colour that we put on to begin with as a nice base for it. So um, if you're going to put them on on their own, you'd need to obviously to use a brush to get more of an intensity. But because we put that kind of pale shimmery shade underneath, it's really making them stand out. So now for eyeliner, um, this is the only other thing really that you would need to bring with you. Everything else is kind of included in the palette. So for eyeliner, I'm going to use the um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glam Pencil in Zero. This is just a little one. So you can, you can get these, I believe. This came in a um, set, I believe it was the Black Market set, which you can still buy. And I'm just going to put this in my waterline. But then also I'm going to take a little angled brush like this, quite a stiff, dense one, and I'm going to use the black shade in the palette, and I'm going to use that on my top water, my top water, my top lash line for my liner. So I'm going to take the black, and I'm going to do kind of a little wing, just to make it a little bit smokier and more nighttime appropriate. So I'm going to take this, this shade, and just trace over where I put the kind of charcoal shade. That's why I use like the charcoal shade in the palette rather than a brown because it just it's easier to kind of cover for nighttime if you see what I mean. So that is the liner on. As you can see it's just made such a difference. I'm going to add a little bit more mascara to kind of pump them up a little bit, like that. Now the final touch is I'm going to take the fluffy end of the brush once again and I'm going to put the um, shimmery shade that we put all over the lid for the daytime look, this one, I'm going to put a little bit of that in the inner corner just to brighten that up. So as I said, you can do anything with the lip for the nighttime look. Um, I'm going to use Makeup Geek's Fearless Lipstick beautiful kind of, it's a very hot pink. So that is the Fearless Lipstick by Makeup Geek. Definitely nighttime appropriate. And then if you wanted to, this is like just an added extra, you could put a gloss over it. I'm going to use the Urban K Lip Junkie in Midnight Cowboy, just to kind of make it a little bit fresher. So that's six products, including the palette. I don't think that's too too difficult, is it? I mean, it's just that. You can throw that in your bag, that's it. That's all you would need. And of course, the full exposure palette, which will go in your bag quite easily, because it's quite slim. So, so five extra products to create a day to night look. This is also kind of perfect if you um, get home and you only have like, a little while to get ready and you don't want to do your makeup again I think that's kind of another thing as well it's not just on the go transformation you can do this when you get home if you've got like 10 minutes to kind of get changed and you want to you look at your makeup and you think oh my god like I need to do something with my makeup I hope you enjoyed that guys I hope it was helpful it's something that you would be interested in if you want to see more of these kind of chatty makeupy videos please leave me a comment and let me know and also let me know if you have any video requests I'll leave a list of everything I used in this day to night summer look uh, down below and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.